every 15 minutes. Now then, have you fallen out with your energy supplier but found it difficult to leave them? Perhaps you should follow Ben Drury's lead. The 38-year-old from Whitley Bay was trapped in a world of call centre hell, but following weeks of frustration, he adopted a new approach. He penned the company a delicately written Dear John letter. I know you still love me, but there's too much water under the bridge. I found someone else, someone I think can make me very happy. A new, younger, prettier supplier, just the sound of her name. And we just need to be left alone to live our life together. You need to move on. You need to let go. You need to forget me. It's all for the best. I'm sure there's someone out there for you. Don't give up hope. Well, that's an extract from Ben's letter to the managing director of British Gas, Phil Bentley. And it seems it did the trick because he's now left them. Ben told me how the saga began. Well, we got a letter in in September uh, last year saying, welcome to British Gas, thanks for transferring, which was pretty much the first I knew about it because I hadn't ordered anybody to transfer me or anything. I hadn't signed anything. So I just phoned up British Gas and tried to get it sorted. And initially they said, um, you know, it's just an erroneous transfer. Sometimes it happens, we'll transfer you back. could take about six weeks. And I, I thought nothing else of it um, until they started sending people around to read the meter, even after they said they were transferring us back. And then when I phoned up again, they couldn't find us on their system. And it, it was just this catalogue of errors and nobody seemed to want to solve the problem or, or knew how to solve the problem. Yeah, and, and you believe that probably they've got you mixed up with a business up the road. Yeah, what eventually transpired is when, when one of the guys came around to read the meter, we looked at who they were reading it for, and it turned out it was a business account for somebody up the street, and they'd obviously got the address wrong, and which is why they couldn't find us either, because we phoned, obviously, Home Gas, and it was a business account, and obviously in a big organisation like British Gas, they don't really talk to each other, so they couldn't find <laughs> us. So, in the end, through frustration and no doubt the, the wasting of countless hours of your life, you decided to pen a love letter to British Gas? <laughs> started writing a really angry rant and the more I wrote the more I thought actually the only person that's getting upset about this is me so let's try a different tack let's see if we can get what we want by having a bit of fun and then I started to write this other letter and it just turned into this long love letter and actually after I'd written it I felt much better about the whole situation <laughs> and, and, and at the end of the day they did what I'd asked straight away which is pretty good within 24 hours so yeah so you said in it you describe how although it's been lovely you want to move on and you found a new partner id i.e your, your current supplier and uh, you know perhaps it's best for you if you just put the past to the past and that kind of thing you, you've had a reply though from the managing director of british gas which is quite humorous because uh, the company you're with he cites them as a french mistress and in in his reply he's sort of penned a, a dear john letter to you as well hasn't he yeah, he has. He's, he's replied and kind of he's, he's, he's apologised, which was great. And he, 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 his last paragraph is about the fact that you know EDF is a French mistress, and according to their marriage guidance counsellor, which is what he calls Ofgem, their, their <laughs> regulator, um, she has the worst track record of lasting relationships in the industry. So you know, kudos to the MD of British Gas for joining in the spirit. Yeah, and if anybody has a problem with their power supplier in future, perhaps pen them a dear John letter and, and write it as a love letter rather than try to get frustrated on uh, full lines oh, yeah, i think i think they probably get a lot of people writing nasty letters so you know, if you want to get noticed write something that's going to make them laugh i think ben dreary there who swapped british gas for his new french mistress edf energy and here's an extract of the reply from the british gas md phil bentley my apologies once again for letting you down. I do hope your romance blossoms, but she is French, you know, and somewhat fickle, and according to Ofgem, our marriage guidance counsellor, she has the worst track record for lasting relationships in the industry. You can uh, read all of this on Corgiva, C-O-G-I-V-A. It's uh, corgiva.com, it's a blog site, and Ben Drury has put the whole story on there. The Fawns here at BBC Newcastle.